Ever since the gyms closed down at the onset of the coronavirus pandemic, avid gym goers like myself had to find novel ways of tearing our muscles apart so that we could look better with our shirts off. We used milk jugs for curls, staircases for pull-ups, and dogs for sit-ups. But there's still one thing my little home gym was missing from the 24-hour fitness experience. Ripped gym bros conspiring about the latest pseudoscience fitness trends, or better known as bro science. But don't worry, this story is just beginning. There was one man who single-handedly shattered my newly gained faith in the fitness community's reasonability. You probably know him because of the millions that he spends on advertisements, which has given him a home on every corner of the internet. I am of course talking about V-Shred, the father of all terrible videos about men's fitness. But don't let his handheld selfie videos, empathetic scripts, and I'm on your side mentality make you forget that he is nothing more than an attractive dude with a great physique who was strategically chosen to be the frontman of a multi-million dollar company. To get a feel for V-Shred's YouTube videos, they almost invariably begin with his patronizing sympathy towards the viewer. There is nothing more disheartening than to be on that never-ending cycle of diets and training your butt off, but never really getting the look that you want. Then, for the next 15 minutes or so, he gives a series of incorrect fitness claims like starvation mode, which causes you to start storing fat even though you may feel like you're starving all the time. Finally, he reveals the real purpose of all his garbled information. Let me introduce you to our Ripped in 90 Days program. Vishred presents himself as a fitness industry Robin Hood, stealing industry secrets from the top trainers and benevolently distributing them to the everyday man. Still, Vishred's only real secret is that he has no secret knowledge about fitness. He is a quintessential practitioner of bro science, either due to ignorance or commercial incentives, and I don't know which one's worse. But this is the current model used by most male fitness influencers, creating content that leaves just enough erroneous advice that you're tempted to buy the rest of the random puzzle pieces. And although V-Shred is the most popular, his videos are the fitness equivalent of corporate stock music, unhelpful, distant, and capitalistic. But there are far more subtle and nefarious gym criminals out there. Take David Morin. You're about to meet a 44-year-old father of four who's graced the covers of 40 international fitness magazines. He is traditional masculine ideals personified, the epitome of pure male fertility, sex appeal, and success. Just look at him run on the beach with this hot wife and, oh, look at those abs, oh my. But no matter how many ads he has made, he somehow doesn't have time to make another full-length video because they all link to the same video. Three Fat Burning Tricks with David Morin. Morin's style is undeniably reminiscent of V-Shred's techniques. But whereas V-Shred merely teaches ineffective and untrue fitness advice, Morin goes the extra mile in this video and makes statements that directly incentivize unhealthy and counterproductive habits. Morin heavily relies on the tactic of disguising his bro science as valid research by building his arguments on jargonistic and oversimplified statements. Bro scientists love this strategy of inventing a new subtly confusing and mystifying approach to fitness, while simultaneously giving the antithetical impression that they are actually demystifying fitness and cutting through the BS. Let's look at the actual tips. Number one, avoid long cardio sessions. Okay, that's not too bad, but just check out his second point. The best way to counteract this phenomena and restore fat burning is to consume cheat meals at strategic intervals. He really just said that eating cheat meals will help you lose weight. Unlike his first tip, which was merely arbitrary and baseless, now he is permitting men to engage in unhealthy practices like eating high-calorie cheat meals, which are invariably loaded with added sugars or saturated fats. Oh, but just look at Morin's abs and the cutaways to burgers. Oh, it's just impossible not to associate being ripped with eating unhealthy meals. Finally, Morin gives his last weight loss tip. The future of male fat loss. Blue Star Nutraceuticals Blade. To take his weight loss supplement called Blade, which is essentially a caffeine pill. If anyone is desperate and impressionable enough to make it this far into his 25 minute video, then they might just be tempted into actually buying it. In contrast to his two other vague and muddled tips, consuming this pill once a day is the easy and concrete solution that people are dying to have which is why the sales tactic is so persuasive. But despite his facade of fitness mastery, Morin's career, as compelling as it may be, is built on fabrication and deceit. Unfortunately, this problem is much more widespread than just V-Shred and Morin. 
a study conducted by the University of Glasgow found that out of nine of the most popular fitness and weight loss influencers in the UK, only one of them provided accurate, trustworthy information about weight management. Many influencers feel the need to generate new weight loss tactics to carve out a place in the fitness market for their career to reside. This tactic usually involves romanticizing fad diets like keto, paleo, low fat, and intermittent fasting. However, many studies have shown that diets differing in macronutrient compositions have no consistent or significant differences in weight loss results. Eating less and exercising more is objectively the only natural way to lose weight, and any significant removal of macromolecules and nutrients will only result in health problems down the line. But if keto didn't give Gymshark athletes their bodies, how could they possibly have done it? In such an appearance-driven society, athletes view performance-enhancing drugs in the same way they view plastic surgery or cosmetics. Especially in the online fitness world, where your body is your success, many professionals abuse steroids to grow a following. But a culture based on physical appearance does not come without a cascade of negative externalities. For most bodybuilders, steroid use is a real addiction that comes with an endless list of associated health risks including testicle and brain depletion. Luckily, shirtless charlatans like V Shred and David Morin do not go unchallenged. Another genre of online content has paralleled their success, fitness debunking videos. You may feel like you're starving all the time. You can't store fat in a deficit! This is Greg Dissett, one of the most popular content creators in this realm. He's not a natural athlete, but he's very open about his past, and he grew to fame largely because of his YouTube series Natty or Not. Doucet outperforms many other debunkers because of his over-the-top personality and almost satisfying distaste for fitness influencers. What is he, some kind of guru? He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's, he's very good looking. This exaggerated approach to satire is actually quite effective as it highlights how ridiculous the original point was in the first place. Crashes down to a screeching halt. Your metabolism comes to a screaming halt. Doucette is entertaining, and his exaggerated absurdity unveils Vichred's nonsense. But more importantly, he also responds to false claims with accurate fitness advice. Doucette has a degree in kinesiology and a load of experience as a trainer and bodybuilder, whereas Vichred's diet videos look like this. Doucette has made countless videos that walk through everything he eats in a single day as he prepares for a competition. Furthermore, Doucette makes it very clear that there are no shortcuts for having your dream body and health and the commenters love him. I really despise those V-Shred ads. It feels like he's trying to get you to join a pyramid scheme. This made me smile. Makes your metabolism crash to a screeching halt. Bruh, that's literally just dying. Doucette not only helps combat the trend of misinformation in the fitness industry, but he also instills a critical spirit in his viewers, so the effect is exponential. He even cultivates a more authentic space in the fitness world by being open about his own experience with steroid use and exposing other fraudulent influencers who falsely claim that they don't use anabolics. But we can't improve the male fitness industry by merely deconstructing its very existence. It needs something to displace its unhealthy trends and habits. For that, we must look towards an unexpected friend, the female fitness industry. There has been a similar trend of increasing vulnerability in the female fitness world but it has manifested itself in a much different manner. Instagram has developed a culture that encourages users to curate their feed such that they always appear attractive and happy. But consumption of post after post of picturesque men and women with society's ideal body type is exceptionally draining for mental health and self-image. Anna Victoria, an Instagram fitness model with 1.2 million followers, is one of the influencers waging a war on empty perfectionism by using her platform to spread authenticity. She combats this phenomenon by posting her photos straight from her camera roll with no editing. All of her uneven skin tones, stretch marks, and pimples, human attributes that most models would photoshop out of their posts, make their way onto her Instagram. Her online presence demonstrates that beauty is found in our humanity, not in romantic versions of beauty standards. She also goes even further by sometimes posting a secondary picture that shows what her body would look like if she wasn't posing. When she's posing, she looks like any other genetically gifted Instagram model. Attractive, tall, and with an hourglass figure. However, in the unposed photo, her relaxed stomach and suboptimal photo angle and lighting make her body look realistic. Her exposed body rolls and less curvy appearance demystify what models look like in everyday life. It's so much easier for Victoria's fans to accept their bodies because they know that even models don't always look like models. 
There is very little of this kind of authenticity in the male finosphere. Yes, Doucette cultivates transparency by being open about his storied use, but still, men are hesitant to post shirtless pictures with bad lighting or a bloated stomach. Opening up Instagram and invariably seeing a shirtless man who looks like a Greek god has quite negative implications for men's self-esteem, and it does not even inspire men to integrate a healthier lifestyle. Therefore, fitness influencers like Reshred and David Morin, who only offer their bodies and flawed fitness advice to begin with, have a net negative effect on their viewers. This is how the male fitness industry is failing men's health. The culture that exists around the male fitness industry was constructed to appeal to and to support traditional masculine ideals. But despite living in a male-centric world, society fails men by placing them into a box that encourages stoicism, competitiveness, dominance, and aggression. Qualities that ultimately silence discussions around men's mental health and self-image. Under the system, men are often reluctant to admit vulnerability which has led fitness influencers to put on facades and abuse performance-enhancing drugs in order to appear ideally masculine in front of their audience. If the industry truly cares about men's health and does not exist purely for commercial and traditional masculine appeal, then it must adapt to be transparent, process-driven, and supportive of men's body image. Not all fitness influencers offered misleading advice, and it would be unfair to discount the number of people that even bad influencers have gotten off the couch but the male fitness industry must move towards a model that displays a valid, unbiased, and raw look at what health and fitness genuinely mean.